Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and this is part one of my version of the MS Poseidon. Now I did say in the preview video, if you've seen that already, uh, that uh, this is sort of a concept, uh, well a 2006 concept, sort of mixed with the Queen Mary 2, so I sort of come up with that, and uh, this is what I've come up with. Uh, I've, done, I've made a few small changes to the bow since the preview video, but uh, apart from that, everything is uh, pretty much the same so uh, no big issues there so we have a quick fly over the ship so you know what uh, you're going to be building and a massive lag spike there for some reason hopefully that won't continue this evening um, yeah, we'll have a quick fly over anyway and uh, I've not got uh, any swimming pools on the stern which is something I was going to add but uh, it's something I could add later on in the tutorial but it's usually a last minute thing anyway so we'll have a quick fly around the stern here gives you an idea on what we're going to be building and uh, yeah, like I said, it's sort of a mixture with the Queen Mary too. So it's uh, got a bit of fictional stuff as well as a bit of um, modern stuff, if you like. But uh, that's what we're going to come up with today. And another lag spike, wonderful. Uh, so yeah, that's all that. So what we're going to do now is fly over to our build zone, which is over there, where I've already laid the keel. And the keel, which of course is the center line and the backbone of the ship, is 395 blocks long. That's 395 blocks long. Uh, I'm not going to bother measuring it, but I've already got it written down, and uh, it's already built in place. But it's 395 long. Now, if you're going to be building this ship on the water, uh, you're going to be wanting to build the keel on the 12th block below the waterline, because the red section is 13 blocks high. And if you build it uh, uh, 12 blocks below the surface, you'll have one block of red just above the surface. Or if you want to have the red completely covered, then build the keel on the 13th block below the surface and uh, you should all be fine there. Right, so that's all that. So what we're going to do now is bring up the tools, which is there, and we're going to start building. I'm going to build on the uh, left-hand side like I normally do. So like I normally do, build on the left, and then when I'm done there, I'll just flip it, cop well, copy, flip it, and then paste it on the right-hand side so it's symmetrical with the keel. So the keel, of course, is the center line, and it's also represent section zero. Okay, after that, section one, two, three, all the way up to the side. Okay, right. So what we're going to do is from the keel, we're going to build on the second block of the keel. And we're going to build uh, two rows of two. So we're going to build two and two like that. And then we're going to want uh, three rows of six. No, six rows of three, sorry. So six rows of three. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. I say that again, it's six rows of three. <laughs> and then after that you want six rows of four. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. I just double check that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So that, like I said, six rows of four. And then after that you want uh six rows of five. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that should be six rows of five. Just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's fine. And then after that you want two rows of six. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So that is the front shape of the bow. Now if you're familiar with my other tutorials, this is gonna be sort of a piss easy thing to do with the hull, because the hull is sort of a standard shape like I normally do, I mean there's no bullshit with it being overly sculpted so it's it's sort of an, an idiot proof design if you like, you know, I'm not trying to be over, overly complex with it um, but that is the front section done there and then after that last row of six you're going to want to build a line of 142 blocks long, so that's 142 blocks long so that's the first block and I measure as I go, so that's the first one, and it should be 142 long, so I measure it when I go along, so I'm not going to bother counting it, but it should be 142 when I get to the end. Just quickly measure that, how far are we now? Well, that's that's 44 so far, got another 98 to go. So like I say, it should be 142, and then we start curving back inwards again. <laughs> Oop, missed one. Right, how far is that? That is 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142. So that's 142 there. As it says at the end of that pink sentence at the bottom, 142. And then after that, you want to start curving back inwards again. 
What is it with the lag on this bloody game today? I don't know what's going on. Right, anyway. At the end of the 142, we're going to want nine rows of nines. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, how many rows is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's draw two more rows of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That should be 9 rows of 9. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, that's fine. So 9 rows of 9. And then we want 5 rows of 8. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be 5 rows of 8. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that. And then we want uh, 3 rows of 7. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7, 7, 7 like that. And then we want uh, 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then uh, 2 rows of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So that is all curved back inwards like that. As you can see, that outside edge is very straight. So later on, when the tutorial is complete, or when you've finished building the hull, you can sort of make that, that straight edge a bit more curvy if you like does look a bit weird at the moment but don't worry you can adjust it later on right so once you've built that row of four inwards you should have 40 that's four zero blocks of the keel sticking out the back end so I just measure from the first one to the end that should be 40 blocks and yep that's 40 as it says at the end of that pink sentence at the bottom so that's 40 blocks there and that's absolutely fine all right so what we're going to do we're going to go to the back end now of the outside edge which is the 142 and the lag is starting to annoy me. Uh, so yeah, this one four two line here, and we're going to build on the end and on the end of it, on the end of the one four two, you build out two and then two like that. So you got a store of two and two like that. So that's that outside edge section there. And then we're going to go to the front end, and we're going to do the same at the front end, but slightly different. And I've got to find out which page it's on. So bear with me, <laughs> bear with me a second. Um. Um, 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 uh, here we are. Right, so on the front end, we're going to go to the third block back. So on the front of the 142, we go 1, 2, 3 back, and then add the 2 out. And then add uh, 3 more back, so 1, 2, 3, and then add 2 like that. So that is that section there. It looks weird at the moment, but when it's all done, it'll be fine. So it's basically what you want to do now is from this block, this block here, you just want to build a line of blocks all the way to the back, connecting to the back end so I just build this here this basically creates a sort of a uh, curved edge to the hull it's nothing special but it's sort of doesn't make it look so blocky it's still blocky but not as blocky if you know what I mean if you're familiar with my really early tutorials but I just build this line from the front to the back end oh, and then we are up to that one there so there we go up to that block there we just want to do the same on the on the block below. So this block here, we just want to build another line all the way forward, and that will uh, create the uh, bottom section here. And like I said before at the beginning, this is just half of the ship. Remember, whereas I can use World Edit to copy and paste, most of the console users, or virtually all the all of the console users, are going to have to build it all by hand on the other side. So, uh, like I say in other videos, if you're going to be building this on console or on your own. Um, do it with a team because this will drive you fucking mad because you know it's, it's, just, it's a very tedious thing doing things block by block and uh, it will drive you up the wall but anyway that's uh, that's that section done you can see there you've got a sort of a, a step section there underneath creating a sort of very small curve for the bottom of the hull right so that's that done um, we're going to move on to the next section, but before I do that, I'm going to do a quick jump cut because uh, the game is lagging so badly. So I'm going to do that, and I shall return in just a moment. So uh, back in a moment. 
Okay, back again. Now I fixed the uh, lag issue. It was uh, I had to uh, reset the render distance because I forgot to do it. All right. Anyway, enough of the bullshit. Let's get on with the next task, and we're going to build up the uh, bow of the ship, the front end. Now, as you can see on the prototype in the distance, the ship does have a bulbous bow, but we're going to add that later on because it's sort of uh, more of an add-on and not something we can really uh, accumulate into this section just yet. So um, I shall leave the the bulbous bow till later. You can probably come up with a better design yourselves anyway. So um, it's open to interpretation. But we're just going to focus on the main sculpting of the bow for now. Right, now, if you're familiar with my past tutorials, at least the last uh, few anyway, uh, section, uh, well, we're going to be building the uh, hull and sections now. So section zero, which is usually the center line, is here. So the keel is section zero. And we built 23 sections. And then there's also those two sections which are up higher. So there's two extra sections there. So the uh, ship is now 25 well, there's now 25 sections after the section zero. So the section zero, which is the center, and then you've got 25 afterwards, and also the same the other side when they build that. So from section zero to section 23 uh, are all going to be the same. So what we're going to do, on the tip of the bow, we are going to build uh, forward. So we're going to go four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three, and then we want nine rows of two. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. So that's that's the shape of our bow, basically. Nothing special, but uh, it should be thirteen high in uh, once it's complete. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, yep, that's fine. So that's the shape of our bow, and that's how it's going to be. And like I said, that goes from section 0, which is the centre line, up to section 23. So I haven't labelled each section, but I'll count them as I go along, because normally I usually put uh, signs on each section to mark it, but I haven't done that. So I'm going to try and do this as uh, best as I can. So bear with me on this one. So that's our copy from there. Uh, cool. E. And then I'll paste it on each section. So that's that's section zero. So this is section one here. Paste that section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, section six, section seven, section eight, section nine, section ten, section eleven, section twelve, section thirteen. Section 14, section 15, section 16, section 17, section 18, section 19, section 20, section 21, section 22, and then section 23. And there we go, so that's section 23 there, and then 24 and 25 will be slightly different. So, like I say, you go from section 0 to section 23, and then your hull should look something like this. Uh, kind of a load of ribs with a lot of holes in between. So that is that section there. And then we go to section 24. And what we're going to do there is the same thing again, but uh, you're going to leave out the bottom row of four. So we're going to just go from the first block of section 24. We're going to add a row of three, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three. And then the nine, nine rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine like that and then we move to the next row which is section 25 and we just add one row of three one two three like that and then nine rows of two so one two three four five six seven eight nine like that and there you go that is the uh, bow section of the ship done or not done but uh, that's how it should look at this moment in time and then what you want to do is, like always, go on the inside of the hull, and then we just fill in the gaps. So I shall start at the front end and just fill in the gaps between each section. This is another one of those wonderfully difficult, well not difficult jobs, but mundane. It does take a long time to do. So I'll just do the first few sections, and then I'll do my usual jump cut to a Save a bit of time. But, you know, what you do, you just go on the inside, fill in all the sections, and then you should have 
a watertight, well, watertight bow at least. Which I think I could. No, I'll just do these next few sections and then I'll uh, jump cut and come back. So, saving a bit of time. I'm going to do this next one and then we'll do. There we go. So that's the first few sections, or most of the first sections done. I'll, uh, and it should look something like that. And what I'm going to do now, I'll do a quick jump cut while I uh, fill in the rest of the sections there. And then we'll uh, move on to the next phase. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've filled in all the sections of the bow and it should look something like this. Nothing really special, but uh, it's sort of bow shaped, if you like. Uh, so that's that. So what we're going to do now is head to the back end now. We're going to do the stern section of the hull. And what we're going to do, we're going to fly down to the uh, end of the 142, so the outside edge, which is here, the 142 ends at this point here. And what we're going to do, we're going to start building, sort of sloping upwards. So this is this is sort of a, a two-phase section of the stern. We'll focus on the uh, this section, the top section first, and then we'll work on the bottom section afterwards. So from the end of the 142, you're going to build... Uh, seven rows of nine, so we're going to sort of slope upwards. So I'm going to build the first nine here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. So that's one, and I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that is the seventh. So I just double check that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So that's seven rows of nine going up like that. Okay, back again, massive lag spike there, so I had to uh, pause and uh, restart. So, um, where were we? Oh, yes, we've got the uh, seven rows of nine, so that's that there. And then on top of that last row of nine, which is here, you're going to want to build a line of 60, that's six zero blocks long. And so we'll add the first block there, and I shall measure from that. And I'll do it freehand, so that's the first block. And just add the 60 blocks along here, or along the top like that. And then I shall measure it when I get to the end. So how far is that? That is 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 and get that 60 so at the end of that pink sentence it says 60 and that is the line you got so it's seven rows of nine plus 60 all right so there we go all right after that row of 60 you're going to want to start building inward so we're going to start building in and curving in towards the uh, towards the keel so at the end of the 60 you want to build a row of 13 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then a row of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then a row of 11, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then a row of 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's fine. And then you want uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a four. One, two, two, three, four. And then uh, one, two, three, four rows of three. So go one, two, three. 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 Like that, so it's four rows of three, um, and then two, like that, so it's two, and then change the direction, we go two that way, uh, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then four again, one, two, three, four, and then a colored block, preferably white, to mark the center, and that should be directly above, uh, well, it's not directly above, but directly in line with the keel below, so you get the keel there on the center line, and that white block is on the center line as well. So that is all lined up. So that is the curve of the stern like that. And it should look something like that. Or like that rather. So that is the first sort of phase done. 
um, and it should look something like that right so the next job we want to do is go back to the row of 60 which is this one here and what we're going to do is increase the height of the uh, each section of the stern I'm just trying to work out how I do this um, so what we're going to do we're going to go to the end of the 60 which is here and we're going to add a line of blocks and trace the uh, sections below so I just double check that actually I double check it on the prototype so you can sort of see uh, well, and I can see as well how this is done so I'll just fly over to the prototype and <gasps> pardon me yep you can see so at the end of the 60 you just build a line and trace the row below <gasps> and the same with the row above so you, so you get this sort of design uh, like this so this is how the stern will look when it's all done so it should just be uh, sort of three extra or two extra rows above overhanging by one so I just fly back over and do that Scratch my head at the same time. Right. Right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Are. Right, so back to the 60. And like I said, we just build from the fir from the end of the 60, we just build along and trace the row below. So up to the block there, and then the end of the next row, just trace along. So you're overhanging by one row like that, but always start on the end block of each section. And it should all look fine when it's all done. When you get to the uh, section of curving in, you just build two like that, and then two overhanging each section like that. And then the white section do the same as well. So got the first line of overhang like that and then we'll do the same for the next row above we'll just go back to the end of the 60 which isn't really, really the 60 anymore we do the end of the row above which is uh, the 13 we'll go from there and just do the same again we just trace along all the way around to the center line and it's the same sort of process on the uh, section below as well where we start building the uh, stern of the ship well, from the ground up basically there we go that's that section done so there we go that is the three sections done there and it should look something like that so that is uh, that all done there so what we're going to do now is head to the uh, back to the 142 section which is the uh, the long section so we're head back down to that which is now on ground level so go back to the ground level here so we've got the 142 here which is this long bar here and at the end you've got these uh, rows of two like that so from this row of two here we're going to start building or tracing the uh, bottom row so it's the same sort of process as above but uh, slightly slightly different design so what we're going to do I'm going to change the page on my notes because this is a bit more arty farty so uh, right, what we're going to do, uh, which I'll go from here, and we'll just trace the bottom, like so, all the way to the centre. Basically, you'll end up one block away from the kill, or should be anyway, so we'll see how this goes. So when we get to the end, the, the, how we're doing this, the section we're building now is the first of three. So this will be section one I'm building now, um, and there should be a group of three of these sections, because each end row will be uh, slightly different. So uh, so the first three sections will have an extra three blocks at the end. I'll explain it when I go along. Uh, so we're at the end here, and then we just add another row of three. So we add one, two, three like that. Or is it four? Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's uh, it's four, sorry. So it's four like that. So you add four, and then you add an extra four there. So you're next to the keel. Because when you're tracing, you always come up short by one. So just add an extra row of four there, and the same with that for the next two rows up. So I'll do the same with the next two rows. So I just build the next one first. Do 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 do. So we go to the next row up from this block here, and just trace along. 
and then that next this section will be an extra row of four at the end, and the same with the next row above. And it's just this is probably the the longest section of the tutorial, uh, or or at least part of this video anyway, because it's uh, so bloody boring. <laughs> but it's not something I can jump cut, you know. It's something that needs explaining. There we are at the end, and then just add another row of four. So there we go. That's number two, and then we'll do number three. Three of many because we're going to go up still. So we're on to number three now. So the end of that row below, we just trace again. And then we just add another row of four at the end. And then the next, hang on, let me just check this. The next. Uh, and the next two rows will be add five. So we'll get to that in a moment. at the end and then just add one two three four there we go so that's the first three rows like that so the next two rows will be add five and then the last rows I don't know how many there are there are afterwards will be add six so we just add the next two rows first and I'll do this as quick as I can so I'll add the, 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 the five so like I said I'll, I'll do this as quick as I can it's I know it's a mundane thing but there you go it's what needs to be done so I'm trying to trace it, not to copy it or ruin it. <laughs> so I do apologise if this is taking so long and very boring, but I'm just trying to do this as accurately as I can without uh, screwing it up. Screw up is my middle name, of course. Fuck up if you like. Right, so there we are at the end there, and then we just add a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the same with the next row. So it'll be the second of the two. And it's a very mundane thing, I know, but we've got to do it. There we go <coughs> at the end and then just add one, two, three, four, five. So there we go, that's those two rows. So you've got three rows of four at the bottom and then three, uh, two rows of five there. So that's that. And then the next, how many rows is it? Let me just check. It's uh, one, two, three, four. The next four rows uh, are add six. So I should do them as quickly as I can up before. So the next four rows is just add six. So, like I said, it is pretty mundane, and I do apologise, but you can skip it. Now, now you know what you got to do. You can you can skip ahead a few minutes, so no worry, no big worry on that one. But I just wanted to explain it as I went along, and uh, we'll go from there. So, like I said, the, the last few rows is just add six at the end. There we go, and then we just add one, two, three, four, five, six, and we do that for the next, well, all the rows afterwards. So, um, like I say, you can skip ahead now and uh, worry about it afterwards. I'm just going to carry on doing this on camera. 
uses up a bit of time, makes the video a bit longer. Bores the hell out of people, I know, but uh, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm either, either to enter, well, not, well, I'm not really here to entertain. I'm here to, I'm here to provide a service. I'm not here to be funny or anything, or entertaining. Just to provide a service. So we'll see how this goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's the second of those. Two, oh, second of the two so far. And we just got uh, two more rows to go. So this won't take long, I promise. It goes as long as I can, or, or as quickly as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's three. And then we'll just do the last one. <laughs> I promise. And then we can move on to something else. Last six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, there we go. That is that section done. So when you look at it underneath, it will look something like that. It will look curvy, if you like. And that is that section all done. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to increase the height now of this, uh, this uh, section of 60. I'm going to increase it by two more blocks high. So I'll uh, we'll basically just blend it in with this section here because you can see it goes two blocks higher there. So I'm just going to make it two blocks higher along here and uh, then I can use weld edit to do the rest because I need to basically build the hull now the side of the hull from the back end here all the way to the front end and uh, it's one of those awkward jobs doing it by hand but when you got weld edit it's even more bloody awkward so bear with me while I uh, do some tidying up and hopefully Everything will be hunky diddly do. Up to there. Right, so now I'm going to weld edit for the rest of this section now. So bear with me while I do this. Set 35 14 for that section there. And the next section along. And then the next section along because each tier is uh, awkward but uh, this is the way weld edit works it's a bit awkward to do but I want to use weld edit just to save time really because it just takes forever but I'm just building the sides now of the hull basically I'm just building it all the way forward and connecting it with the uh, front end but when you got to uh, tiered sections like that it just take it does make it a bit more awkward but uh, anyway, that's all the tiered sections. So I'm just going to fly all the way forward now and connect to the front end. And uh, it should all line up fine. So connect to that point there. And there we go, that's the side. And then just want to fill in this last gap here. And there we go that's the side all done so that is a very flat side I admit but uh, you know once the tutorial is over you can adjust it if you want to just to make it look a bit more curvy and uh, that is the uh, 
sides all done there. So what I'm going to do now is fly to the back end because we've got a bit more filling in to do still. So uh, it's basically filling in the gap between the top section there and the bottom section down here. And uh, yeah, this may take a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trace along the top section here. Uh, or along the top of the bottom section if you like and then I can use the fill tool to fill in the rest so it's basically just filling in the gap between the bottom section and the top section here so I just use the fill tool for this well I'll do it freehand for the moment and then I'll use the, f the, the fill tool when I get there I just want to trace this in so it's basically just a big open space uh, or a big flat section when it's all filled in so uh, Bear with me while I just do this. And I shouldn't really be using Weld Edit. I mean, for I'm only using it for convenience for me, really, because it's just if I was not to use Weld Edit, the video would be ten times longer. So it's, it's mainly just to speed through some things. I do explain things as I go along, but uh, I do apologise if people get confused. Anyway, that is uh, I've traced all the way along the edge there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hang another two blocks underneath like that and get rid of one of them. And I'm going to stand on that block and use the fill tool. So we're going to use forward slash, forward slash, fill uh, 3514, which is the red, by 300. And that should fill in. There we get the whole section like that. So that's that bit done. I just removed that block underneath. And that is that top section there all filled in. So it's basically creating a deck, if you like. Uh, so that is that section there. It all looks fine. From underneath, it will look dark and dismal. But that's that section there like that and then the next job we want to do is to fill in the floor of the ship which is the section well on the green here so for the section between the keel and the uh, outside of the ship we want to fill all this in with red so I use the same again fill 3514 by 300 and there we go that's the floor all filled in and uh, it should look something like that and yeah that's the uh, the hole almost done so what I'm going to do now and it should be doing the copying and pasting to the other side now. So I'm going to go down to uh, the ground and put a block down. Give it a block there and copy from that. And I'll copy to the tip of the bow. Use some magic words. Copy it, flip it, paste it, and then we should have both sides done. So like I've been saying, I'm only working on one side and then flip to the other side. It does save time and when I'm explaining it, it does make it a bit easier. So or easier for me at least anyway so I shall copy it to that point there and I shall stand on that point now I shall use copy and use flip to the right or the left doesn't matter and then we'll do paste did it work? yay it worked there we go that's both sides done and uh, we've got a very large bathtub now and it should look something like that so I'm just going to fly down to the back end, make sure it's all in place, and it should be fine. Yeah, don't look too bad, do it. Right. So the full width of the ship should be, I think it's 51 blocks wide, or at least the full width of the hull anyway. It should be 51 blocks wide. Uh, so I shall go, actually I'll go, <laughs> go to the back end where I can find a block I can refer, reference on. So I shall go to this block here and measure from there. So from that one to the other side, it should be 51 and uh, yep there we go, at the end of the pink sentence at the bottom in brackets is 51, so that's the full width of the red section, it's 51 blocks wide and it should look something like that one more job to do before we finish is to add the fin on top of the keel and no oh, massive lag spike there now uh, the fin on the prototype in the distance is curved but I won't worry about that just yet, I'll just use a straight line for now so on the keel at the bottom at the end of the keel, we'll just build a straight line up to connect to the bottom of the hull, like so. And then we just fill in this gap here with red blocks all the way forward to create the fin. So it's basically a separation uh, or sort of an upside down dorsal fin, if you like. So we'll just build all the way forward like that. And next row up, we'll just do the same. It may take a little while but we will get there in the end. And apologies for the noise if you can hear that. People have got fireworks outside. It's, of course, it's 
it's November and uh, it's a celebration of Guy Fawkes and what was it? Bonfire Nights on the 5th of November. But uh, pretty much between now and New Year, it's going to be fireworks every night. Or at least that is where I am. Romsey is a wonderful place, especially in the area I am in. People seem to think fireworks can go off every day. Anyway, enough about fireworks. Let's carry on with building this fin. And we are nearly at the top. So it's up to there. And last section there and oh, one block and there we go that's the fin added there and also you can fill in the gap under here as well between the fin and that couple of white blocks there so we just add uh, fill in the white section there there we go so that is that section done like I said the fin will be curved uh, at a later date and also there'll be propeller pods as well there are four propeller pods to go on the ship um, but they'll go on later on but anyway that is the draft the red section of the ship done and uh, it's a pretty big build. It's not as big as I expected it to be. It does dwarf the uh, the SS United States. I mean that ship, the, the prototype is next to the SS United States and uh, it does dwarf it a bit so uh, there's a size comparison to, uh, for you. But anyway that is that little job done. So that's the, the drafts all done and part one over with. Now for part two uh, which will focus on the black section of the hull and also the white line in between the red and the black. Um, and maybe the beginnings of the superstructure. I'm not sure yet, but we'll sure work it out when we get there. But it's definitely be the black section of the hull uh, will be the next section, or in the, in the next video. Um, and then after that is uh, sort of anyone's guess, really. Um, there's lots of cabins, lots of windows, and lots of uh, awkward bits to go through. So this is not going to be an easy tutorial, at least so for me. Um, but we'll see when we get through it. So anyway... Uh, so that's part one over with anyway. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. Um, and I shall return in part two. So uh, bye for now.